let's take a look at the intensity actions within Mosaic Designer 2. The first one we're going to take a look at is Master Intensity. When you add a Master Intensity action to a trigger, you have the option to select what group of fixtures it's going to work on. The Master Intensity allows you to set an overall control of how much output the fixtures will actually be capable of doing. By default, everything is 100% output, which means it'll be at its brightest whenever you put something in a timeline. If you were to change the master intensity, you'd have the ability to limit this from 100 all the way down to zero. Once you select your group, you then have the ability to set an intensity, either using a value from zero to 100 or providing a variable. You also have options for fade and delay times. If you don't want to set a specific value for intensity, you have options to either increase or decrease using these actions. Like the master intensity, you have the option to choose a group and then set an intensity increment or decrement. You can also provide a fade or a delay time so that your changes don't snap. If you're looking to create intensity outside of a timeline, use the set RGB command. This has the ability to set intensity, red, green, and blue values for either individual fixtures or groups. At the top, you choose whether you want to work with a fixture or a group, and then either pick the group or assign it from a variable. Same with fixture. Pick the fixture or assign it from a variable. You then get options to set intensity values, set red values, blue values, and green values. If you just want to set one of these, such as red, you can deselect the other ones. This is useful if you want to do a fader for a particular color of a fixture. You also have the option for any of these to not have it instantly snap. You can set a variable or a time for fade. We can also put different types of paths in here. Default, linear, start, end, braked, accelerated, damped, or overshoot. Please reference the manual for more information on this. Since you are actually setting output, we need a way to turn it off. Clear RGB will work for that. You can either turn off a fixture or a group by specifying a group or a variable, or a fixture number or variable. And again, you have your option for time. Keep in mind that a release all timeline command will also clear all of your RGB output. 